guys. So the thing I hate most about talking to camera when I film is that I can't listen to music. I'm like such a jam out while I'm doing my makeup kind of person. That sucks. <laughs> I just want to show you, look how like glowy my decolletage shoulders chest area looks. Ooh, 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 ooh. New ABH shimmer body oil. And I also used, I sprayed this Ruby May Ready Set Glow over top of it. And I highlighted here and here with the Violet Boss highlighters. These two. I really like that. I just can't stop doing this. <laughs> okay, let's hook up my face so it looks a little bit better. Uh, I'm just going to pop on my foundation and concealer and we'll be right back in 3, 2, 1. And I'm back. I was jamming out to music and now I'm sad because I don't get to jam out to music. It's not that I don't like you guys. Like I said, I just like to jam out to music. Okay, so today's video is um, on this new collection. Hold on, let me just put my crown on. Wait. Girl came out with a new collection. It's inspired by our favorite monarchs and it says it's perfectly timed to celebrate the first anniversary of the royal wedding and there's a lot of products in this collection. So first let me show you ow, like there's like things inside the crown that's like hurting my head. Alright so there are four eyeshadow palettes this size and these are exclusively at Walmart. Oh, I have to take this off. There's like little um, things inside that is like stabbing me in the head like right here, here. So I'll just like, take my crown off just for now. <laughs> so there is Ascension and I think this one is broken. Uh, I saw stuff coming out. Yep, yeah, this one's broken. Uh, I think this one was, you know, like more romantic nude tones. It says Ascension, a palette of soft and romantic cool tone neutrals, illuminating metallics, and paralyzed pinks and champagnes inspired by the rise of Her Majesty. Here's the sh actual shades right there. Then we have Rain, this gold palette. And let me open it up. It says, Rise up with rain, an illuminating palette of opulent golds, regal blues, and nudes. Glam shadows fit for a queen. Let's swatch a few of them. Very nice. So then we have Revolution, this red palette. And let me open it up. Ooh, it's got like a red tones. It says, Claim your own with Revolution, a palette of highly pigmented matte and metallic shades ranging from burnt orange, deep burgundy, to shimmering gold. I guess I can swatch two of them here. Very pretty. And then we have Oberthrone, which is a black palette. And this says a palette of dark and rich, fully pigmented shades and opaque and shimmery finishes. Uh, tones ranging from smoky green, cobalt blue, and maroon for an intense smoky eye. I need to change my battery. Hang on a second. I'm back. So next up in the collection is these eyeshadow sticks. Cream eyeshadow sticks. Available exclusively at Ulta May 15th. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight shades. And I swatched them previous to the video and they look really nice. I'm definitely, why does my hand look so white on oh, the tan? Oh, I've got my hand. <laughs> I think I need to put some tan on my arms and my hand. Um, they look really nice. I really like eyeshadow sticks. Um, I know I don't use them a whole lot on the channel. Honestly, they're like the lip liners that I use all the time. So I guess I kind of do it lose cream shadows all the time. Love them. I'll be using them today in the video. Um, then we also have the... I'm gonna sneeze. So next we have the 
Queenship eyeshadow palette. Let me open this bad boy up. And this is available now for pre-order at Amazon.com nationwide July, July 2019. So this July. Jewel tones there. Pretty, pretty detail on the outside of the palette. Very regal looking. And then we have these, which is, uh, I think this is really cool to have from a drugstore brand. I mean, I know Milani has them, but uh, from CoverGirl, it's pretty cool. These are the Exhibitionist Liquid Glitter Eyeshadow. Avail available now for pre-order at Amazon.com and then nationwide July 2019. So there are four, eight shades here. Eight? I thought there was nine. So they look like this. Here is one of the Stila Magnificent Metals. Here is the CoverGirl one. Same packaging, so dupe alert. Uh, the Mil I was thinking the Milani one was rectangle, but it's not. This is the Milani one. Uh, Milani is cylindrical. So same packaging as the Stila. Uh, I'm sure they're a dupe. That's everything. Now let's get started. I don't know which palette I want to use. This overthrown one looks pretty cool and I'm also wearing black so maybe I should do that. I haven't done anything cool tone in a while. Yeah, let's use the overthrown palette. A dark moment. And then we'll use some of the shadow sticks and one of the liquidy metal-y thingies. With these cream shadows, three of them are matte and then the other five are shimmers. So we'll start off with a matte, I think. We're gonna use my nose is dripping. This is 910 and I think I want to do a halo eye because I haven't done one in a bit. So outer and inner. I mean inner and outer. And then I'm going to use a dual fiber brush. And softly blend the edges. So, what did you guys think of the Game of Thrones finale? I was disappointed, and well, I am disappointed, and I keep thinking about it. I'm like, shit, just drop that. Yeah, I will admit, I am disappointed. I've watched the show longer than I've had any relationships. Actually, I think like three times longer than any of my relationships. Yes. Three times? I mean, two times three is six. I've been watching it for... When did it come out? I think it came out in 2011. I've been watching it a long time. Um, so, for it to just end like that made me disappointed. They kind of just botched the last season. I'm not discrediting discrediting the hard work of the visual effects, the actors, all of the other stuff it was kind of like the writing and the plot lines and like um what was the point of Jon Snow being Aegon Targaryen when it didn't even matter in the end um that was like the huge part of the show and then uh it didn't even matter because nobody even found out like I don't know I mean, I totally get that now he's free that's all he really wanted he never really wanted the throne but, like, it just feels like that was a huge part of the show and then it ended and it was like, didn't even freaking matter. So that's kind of why I'm so, so disappointed. Anyway, I could talk about this all day, so let's change the subject. It's also hard to, when I'm filming, not listening to music, to sit here and talk to myself. I don't know how other YouTubers do it. I feel very strange. I mean, I get that you're you're essentially talking to your audience, but when you're just sitting here by yourself, it's kind of like, am I going crazy? <laughs> That's why I like voiceovers, where I, where I can just film it, and then I can go in and talk later. <laughs> okay, so let's dive into this palette. I'm going to start out with the shade Fallen right here. We're going to use that as my transition shade. Let's get it all up in here looks pretty let's take the shade 
take it now right here this charcoal gray color right there and let's add that to the inner and outer corners I am noticing quite a bit of kickback on to the palette itself that's not a huge uh like problem for me the problem is okay yeah i don't know if you guys can see this where i'm applying it and like blending it out it's like leaving a patch even though i have down that base looks like shit okay uh, let's do something else mm, I don't know how I'm gonna say this let's take loveless here this one right here very powdery uh, I guess we're just gonna pop this all over the lid uh, I would say you would want to use this as a wet brush because even with my fingers it's still very powdery. Why don't I get a wet brush? I can just tell you. Why don't I do it myself? Much better. Wow, this look is gonna be just hot mess. Like I can see it now. <laughs> Let's try and blend out these edges. If we can even do that. Oh lord. Do you just... Can you see how this is like... It's stuck here but not there. Like right... Right there. Okay. It looks like shit. I at least wanted it to turn out good. <laughs> uh, let's see what else we can do to try and save this. Let's take this 90 or 950 pencil and try and run it in the crease. And I'll run it here too. And then let's give that a blend. This looks horrible. Okay, so let's take let's take um this this liquid shadow in number seven, and we'll just uh, pop this all over my lid. And what I'm gonna do is just cover up all this mess and just wing it out. When in doubt, wing it out. Oh, it's making my eye burn. I've been like super sensitive to stuff like this. You have sensitive skin on your eyes. Probably not the best for you. Okay, this look is a mess. Do you ever get excited about something and then all of your hopes and dreams come crashing down around you? Okay, well, that's gonna stay like that. It's like not layering well. I keep trying to apply it here. And then like make sure it's blended and it's like picking it up. Alright, I'm gonna try to uh, replicate this on the other eye and I'll be right back. Alright, so I just went ahead and finished off the other eye. Uh, like I said, it doesn't layer all that well. It kind of like picks it up and moves it around. Uh, I did go for more, a little more exact, exaggerated look. Oh, I just pulled it up higher. It's like having a hard time focus on me, I think because of my eyes. I feel like this one is not even with this one. Okay, so we're gonna go into this palette. Oop, brush fell out. 
I think I'm going to go into which shade should I use? Let's use let's use this one. It's like a pearly shade. Let's just use this little little brush since it's here. Not crazy about it. Hmm. Okay. Let's go into the rain palette. And I want to take this shade lavish. need something brighter. I guess we'll just have to take some of this silver. I guess that doesn't make it brighter. It makes it darker, doesn't it? Whatever. Leaving it. Okay, for the lower lash line, I want to go back into the Revolution palette. And I think I'm going to take this shade Exposed. But let's throw something on my lower lash line. Let's use the 960 cream stick. Now let's get something to smoke this out. And let's apply it on top. Like I said, shade exposed here. And let's just pick up some of Showdown here to further smoke it out. Okay, let me finish off the other eye. And I'll come back with some brows on. Really, I'm just doing this so I can listen to some of your music. <laughs> I'll be right back, guys. Okay, so got me some lashes on. I uh, just lined my lips and now I'm gonna apply the new ADH Coconut lipstick for a cool toned moment here. I think I need to line my lips a little bit darker. I like really overlined them. I think I even need to go darker because I made them so overlined. Uh, chicory. Ooh, I'm feeling super vampy. Okay, so this is what I've got going on right now. I need to do my hair. I don't know how I'm going to do it yet. Queen Becca Boo is here. <laughs> you know, I was going to put on this brown wig, but I was like, the look is not very colorful. I need some color in my life, so the hair it is. So this is the completed look. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. I just wanted to chat about the products. I think overall the look turned out, I think it looks good. I like the eyeshadow sticks, like the cream sticks. I like them. I do like these, but it made my eye burn and... I know that's because I have like a really sensitive patch here and I probably would have done it with like the Stila ones as well. So just keep it in mind if you have really sensitive eyes, you just might want to stay clear of these. But otherwise they create really cool effect. Okay hair, can you cooperate? <laughs> a really cool effect on the eyes. The palettes, not my fave, but I did like the shades that I used in Revolution better than the shades in Overthrown. Uh, maybe they just are not the best at making cool tones, but these were nice, the few shades that I did use. And I guess that's about it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you're not already. I've gotta fit this to my head. So it's really big. All right guys, that's about it for me. I'm trying to get my hair to like puff up here. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you on the next one. Bye guys.